Hello friends, welcome to another episode of the Urban Homesteading Channel, midweek or Wednesday quickies edition. If today is the first time you're visiting with us, we want to extend to you a very warm welcome and invite you to watch any of our over 550 episodes, arranged for your convenience in playlists, as we are confident you're going to find something both useful and entertaining to watch. If you have been here before, welcome back. If today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. I don't remember the mobile no, model number, but that's the only one they have, you know. Yeah. You're recording? I am. Thank you. <laughs> well, I nodded at you and then you started talking, so. <laughs> so today we're going to have another first look slash review for you. And uh, I'm going to call it a review because we have used it a couple of times already. Mm -hmm. So I can talk about the ease of use and if it actually does what it's supposed to do. So we can talk of that, right? This is a Centec battery charger and conditioner. It has a microprocessor, as most of them do now. I mean, that's not unique to Centec. Right. And I bought this because we had a battery that will not take so charge. So here, a fairly old car battery. We removed it, you know, from our, our cars because it was giving us difficulty. And this is a battery from January 14, uh, 2014, right? Mm -hmm. So we expect this battery to be well past its prime, past its uh, uh, useful life span, right? Yep. And we're going to use our new Centec battery charger and conditioner uh, and just to see if it's going to tell us this is a defective battery or if it's going to tell us that we can charge it if it's cold charge, etc. One of the reasons we like this, we have the older side, which was red. I don't know if you remember it. Uh -huh. you and the problem with that one and all modern battery chargers is that <coughs> when they sense a very low voltage, uh, it does not want to charge. It's considered the battery to be flat and it will not charge it, right? Mm -hmm. Which presents a problem, of course. This one is supposed to have an override for this issue, right? Mm -hmm. So we have used it already in, in to charge the battery when it is charging, but I want to see how it's going to do for this battery. So we're going to use our postpaid instructions. Can you believe I read the instructions? Do you have it plugged in? No. You're okay. supposed to not plug it in until okay. you're finished. Good to know. Until you attach things. Yeah. And you do have them attached to the correct poles. Yeah. Ooh, that's packed it. It did. I put it here because it's supposed to be far away. Far away? In another galaxy. Am I supposed to be far away in another galaxy? No. Because I think so. Oh, stop it. <laughs> what are you, a chicken? A chicken? Yeah. Scared? No. I and just what? want to know if I was supposed to be in another galaxy too. No, you're supposed to be here filming. Well, I am, clearly. Okay. okay. Here it is. It recognized that the battery has 10.3, uh, 10.4. This tells us the current voltage of the battery. It recognized that the battery is a 12 volt battery. It, this can work on six or 12 volt batteries. Mm -hmm. So, so far it, it is doing well. Now we can uh, start the charging Start your this. engines. No, no engines. We're going to press this button. And there it goes. It says charge. So I guess we cannot do it to demonstrate that it will charge a, <laughs> a very low battery. Because even though this has been out of a car for several weeks now, mm -hmm. it has actually had enough. And you see now it displays the, the volt that is going to put the battery. Okay. That's 14.5. Remember it was 10 points. Yes. The battery is not there yet. When the charging is full this will go off. Okay. And it has a protection, it will not overcharge the battery. So why is the number going down now? This is a target number, it's not... Uh, it's probably going down because it's charging and it draws power, I don't know. You know, this is Centec, this is a carbo freight. <laughs> the directions are two pages. We had the search to find the override too. Yeah, so... I, I, all I know is that this is supposed to be the target uh, voltage and then I want to talk about the features it does uh, standard AGM or cell uh, or gel batteries so mm -hmm. any battery type that you're going to have in your garage this little device will do it right mm -hmm. it is much smaller and much lighter than our older one I don't know if you remember the older one what we have mm, yeah I kind of do it is kind of heavy and yeah 
And it has an analog versus a digital read. Yeah. That's something when the bad battery will go and do that like a wiper. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it will go click, 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 click. Yeah. I do remember. So we bought, we bought this specifically because it's supposed to heal batteries, right? Mm-hmm. So we cannot speak to that because uh, it charged both the batteries when it is charging this one and it charged the other one. So mm-hmm. no healing needed. <laughs> so we cannot talk of this aspect. But right. we can say that uh, we have. Uh, I've liked this, you know, it is a Sentec, it doesn't look... And you see now it, it, it's going to do that until it oh, is charged. it's thinking that, it's thinking now. Yeah, but it is not, that is not a bad thing. Right, it's just thinking. Right. It took me a while to figure out that this was okay too. But okay. Because again, the directions are horrific. <laughs> so I thought yeah. something is wrong, but you know, it is So okay. what it does first is display where you <laughs> want it to go, and then it maybe displays what it is or something, yes. and then well, starts thinking. Well, if I stop thinking. it, it's going to display uh, the target again. But again it goes down, so that's why I'm confused by that other number. I have no idea. I was going to use our multimeter, but apparently it doesn't want to cooperate today. Right. So. <laughs> anyway. And this okay. claim that it could actually heal the battery, I don't remember the, the term it used. Yeah, but essentially. Uh, you know, not condition. There is an override force charge it. That's mm-hmm. the correct term, right? Okay. Um, and, and I bought that specifically for this purpose, so we can force charge our battery. Uh, I end up using a different method to do that, and our battery took charge. But um, I've been impressed. Um, one of the things I like about this is it is very, very light. The mm-hmm. other one weighs substantially more. The old one that we had. Yeah, we still have it, and it still works, actually. There is, oh. And it was also Sentec. It didn't fail. But that will go gaga on the on that battery immediately. It wouldn't do right. anything, right? Mm-hmm. Where this will tell you that it uh, gives you an error right. at least and some other readings. So what I like about this, I like the size. I like uh, that it is light. It looks fine. I think the the green buttons are a little funky. I don't know what you think. Mm, a little bit. They are a little hard to read the white letters on the green background, mm-hmm. which you wouldn't think that was the case, but it is. But I don't think it's a big problem because, I mean, this is the amps here. I'm sorry, these are the volts because I cannot read. And this is the type, I think. I'm going to take it out of this loop so we can mm-hmm. do it. Uh, that's the only annoying thing I found. When it starts, if you use it to charge, you need to unhook it. And Actually it, unplug it? Yeah. And then you, when you connect it again, now you can do things. So now you see it went to winter, which we don't need. Mm-hmm. Six volts, 12 volts, winter, right? Six volt winter, 12 volts, 12 volts winter. So it has a special feature. We would have needed it in Kansas. We don't need it here, yeah. but you know. So we'll go to 12 volts. And then you can change the amps. This is two amps, this is six amps. And this is 15 or 18 amps. It helps if I can see right. Now for more batteries, most car batteries will be here in 6 amps, right? Mm-hmm. 18 amps, if you have uh, like a tractor or a, a really big truck or something mm-hmm. like that. And 2 amps if you have a UTV, UTV. <laughs> yeah. You know, the utility. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of those batteries that they are smaller in, in, so, yeah. in form. Because you don't want to over amp it. So everything is... Uh, Battery type is selected here, standard AMG or, or gel, and mm-hmm. I can do that now because we're not charging, right? This mm-hmm. is just looking at things. So it is very intuitive, very straightforward, there is nothing really to trip you here. And again, now you notice it tells us the, the cooling battery and it took charge actually, mm-hmm. which surprises me after this. Maybe we didn't need to buy a battery. <laughs> it does do a good job uh, charging, mm-hmm. I would say. So let's see if it will charge. Now, I think everyone needs one of these. Today, with the way uh, automotive technicians charge, a battery will cost you easily $200 between labor and battery, right? Right. So what, the labor? You mean the dropping it in the slot and poking up two cables? People do not do anything with labor, <laughs> but if you take it to a mechanic... Okay. I just wanted to know what labor we're talking about. Yeah, that's $200. Okay. Didn't we say we, we should have been mechanics? I should have been a mechanic. Because everything 
nothing is charged for less than an hour of labor, mm -hmm. which is $75. Mm -hmm. And the average battery be about $120, yeah. we are $200, right? Yep. So something like that will help you. Now, if you don't have it, and the, assuming the car is drivable but gives you a hard time, you can go to most auto places like AutoZone or O'Reilly's, mm -hmm. not affiliated with any of those folks. And they will do a battery check for you for free. They will tell you if your battery is good or bad, right? Right. But if you're stranded like we were, I don't know if you remember our... Uh, How could I forget? little expedition in the middle of the How night. How could I forget that? And you have so to much fun. <laughs> yeah, I know. And you have to decide if it's a good battery or a bad battery or an alternator or whatever. A tool like that helps you a lot. You, without having to worry, you can leave it overnight. And I did leave it overnight, so I know it works. So it will stop when it charges. It will not overcharge your battery. It's mm -hmm. an intelligent charger. For the money, it's, it's an under $40 purchase. Do you remember how much we bought it? I mean, we bought it a couple of days ago. But I do not. But I think it was $39, something like that. Maybe, yeah. It wasn't a very expensive tool. And if you have cars, you're going to use this, right? Mm-hmm. So, again, 6 volt and 12 volts, and it has a high, uh, up to 15 amps charging, and it is a high frequency, which supposedly charges your battery quicker than the older style okay. uh, controllers. Is there something I don't like about this? Uh, the manual. I mean, yeah, the manual was... But, <laughs> as we're going to, in the near future, are going to assemble a, a Harbor Freight trailer, uh, we need to get again? used to frustration. Well, we left it in Kansas. I know. So yes. Again? They don't sell them uh, assembled. But we never documented that little adventure, so... No, we'll probably make a, a video for our subscribers now. So, what did I forget to talk about, Elpina? What are your questions about this? Uh, I don't think I have any questions, because it's pretty straightforward as long as you kind of know what you're doing. If you're trying to read those directions, then not as much. Well, one of the good things is that if you uh, put that reverse on the battery, mm -hmm. it will tell you. Okay, and it so will not if, you've got the, yeah. if you've got the red on black and black on red. It does have a nice long cable here, so mm -hmm. you can take it away from the battery, so that's nice. Um, the cord is not especially long, the power cord itself, but obviously you're going to have an extension cord anyway. So so I wonder if they, they will start, I guess they make them these days that they're battery. A power, you know. Yeah. I know they have them for uh, cranking, for jumping. Yes. So I presume they have uh, flow chargers too. In any case, this is our short little episode for today. Mm -hmm. And if you enjoyed it, we would appreciate a thumbs up. If you didn't, the thumbs down work as well. Share, like, subscribe, and let us know what else you would like to see in future episodes of our, our channel. From Dr. Wizard, Del Pisa, and their Born Homesteading channel, stay safe, put your masks on, wash your hands, and we're going to see you on the weekend with something else fun.